What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Marvel edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just Webster's. We're talking about all things that matter to me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 118, and I know it has been a while since I've done a Marvel edition episode. I've been busy doing updates for Transformers last night. You can check out all those updates on my other channel, youtube.com slash Nation. Well, let's get back into the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And let's talk about Captain America Civil War. And I know that uh, it's been two months since uh, the film has come out. I'm sure all of you guys have seen it. But I'd like to do a final box office update for Captain America Civil War. Obviously, it has made a lot of money. To be exact, $1.15 billion worldwide. That is amazing and that is really really awesome congratulations to disney and marvel for doing an excellent job making it my favorite film in the marvel cinematic universe 405 million dollars of that box office take was from the domestic box office and it's just only four million right behind iron man 3 only four million couldn't beat iron man 3 but still no matter what Still a great movie. I can't wait to own it on Blu-ray. September 13 is when it is coming out on Blu-ray. And the Blu-ray will be a collector's edition. The collector's edition will have, um, of course, the Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, digital HD, deleted scenes, gag, real audio, audio commentary, uh, extended scenes, as well as a whole bunch of featurettes, as well as a sneak peek to Doctor Strange. So pick that up on September 13th. Now let's just talk about a couple of small little news tidbits and uh, we're going to start off by um, by talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 wrapped up filming a couple of weeks ago and uh, James Gunn actually teased that they will be showing some teaser footage at San Diego Comic Con 2016 at Hall H. And then moving on, we got to talk about Captain Marvel. And what's going on for Captain Marvel is that Brie Larson is a front runner to be cast as Carol Danvers. And I'm pretty excited about that because she's a great actress and I think she totally deserves that role. And I could totally picture her as Carol Danvers. Moving on, today is the day which Thor Ragnarok starts filming in Australia. So that's pretty exciting. And what's the most exciting thing about it for me is that it's a buddy buddy film with Thor and Hulk and there could be um, a, um, a possibility that uh, Planet Hulk will be featured or at least the Planet Hulk uh, story will be featured in Thor Ragnarok so that is a high possibility but expect to see a lot of Hulk especially since Thor and Hulk were missing from Captain America Civil War um, something that of course is really really exciting for me is the upcoming Spider-Man film which is filming right now and they've done all kinds of diverse casting uh, this is a really really diverse cast but one of the cast members that joined um, uh, Spider-Man um, uh, the what are they calling it? Spider-Man Homecoming. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, one of the cast members that is joining Spider-Man Homecoming, or rather has joined Spider-Man Homecoming, that really excites me is Donald Glover. And of course, uh, Donald Glover cast in Spider-Man Homecoming, that hints at the possibility that is going to be Miles Morales. And that is not confirmed. Not confirmed at all. I'm just hoping that he's going to be Miles Morales. But the thing is that he's quite uh, quite a bit older than Tom Holland. I mean, Donald Glover. But uh, who knows what role he's going to play. It, it's not... Um, um, it's not mentioned or confirmed what role he's going to play, but uh, here's a little bit of wishful thinking. Speaking of Spider-Man, Sony is still moving forward with their animated Spider-Man uh, feature film, and they got a director, and that's Pop Perichetti, and it will be his directorial debut. He hasn't directed uh, anything but... Um, uh, smaller films or music videos or commercials. I actually didn't even look up his credits, but no feature films. He hasn't done any feature length films yet. But anyways, they got a director and the expected release date is December 21st, 2018. Now, of course, the big, the big film that uh, I'm waiting for is Spider-Man Homecoming. This will be Spider-Man's return back to the big screen in a feature length film. I actually really enjoyed the amazing Spider-Man series while it lasted in the two films <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2 
but uh, it wasn't what the studios were hoping for, and a lot of fans gave it a lot of mixed reviews, especially with the second one having uh, quite a bit of negative reviews, saying that uh, Sony screwed it up. So here's the return of Spider-Man, played by Tom Holland, and the big news right now is that we get our first look at Spider-Man in his costume while he's filming. Here's Tom Holland as Spider-Man in full costume. These are photos uh, exclusively provided by Looper. And let's just take a look at these photos for uh, Spider-Man on the set of Spider-Man Homecoming, which is filming right now. And here he is in broad daylight. Here is Tom Holland as Peter Parker in the red and blue suit wearing a backpack. I like the backpack look because this is like so classic uh, Peter Parker. Uh, here is Tom Holland without his mask on. I'm sure it's pretty hot out there while they're filming. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to take a breather. And y y do you guys notice something about the, the suit? The suit, um, it's it looks really bright on him, doesn't it? It's... Uh, it looks um, just really, really uh, um, vibrant. The colors look really, really vibrant. Vibrant, And some of you guys might even be thinking, like, is this the same suit that he wore in Captain America Civil War? It actually is the exact suit that he wore in Captain America Civil War. The one that Tony Stark uh, uh, worked on for him. It's the exact same suit. It might look a little different just because, uh, you know, we're looking at it from, you know... Um, uh, uh, in broad daylight with those colors, whereas the suit in um, in, in uh, Captain America Civil War was, um, you know, they played with a lot of the colors, the color correction, um, and also a lot of it was CG. So it might look a little bit different, and it might... Uh, it looks like it fits a little bit looser on him, um, but uh, they tweaked it a bit in Captain America Civil War, but this is the exact same suit, all right? It's got all those lines, and it's even got those um, little black uh, uh, stripes on his arms, uh, you know, where his shoulders is, and his elbow. That's all there. If you pay close attention in Captain America Civil War, uh, that is all there. Um, one thing that you might notice that looks a little bit odd is the eyes. It looks like kind of sloppily done on in the uh, in the costume here but uh, this is of course the the um, the costume version uh, uh, of the ver of the costume just so that um, Tom Holland can see through it when it's done in uh, when it's um, put through the post-production phase they're going to be tweaking that area and it of course it'll of course have the the, the eyes that go um, uh, large and small uh, just like it did in Captain America Civil War and it'll look a lot better but this is how he looks and um, I think it's gonna look a lot better once we see it in the um, in the film all right this is a just a, a, a pretty um, uh, I guess a pretty um, raw look at it once you're looking at it in, a, in its raw form it doesn't look like much I mean it's in a way it's kind of underwhelming but uh, once we see it on film it's gonna look fantastic and plus you got a great talent wearing that costume so it's gonna be great and you know I can I can imagine how hot it is there's so many photos of him under the shade carrying an umbrella and anyways you can check out all these photos on looper.com I'm gonna leave you the link in the description box below and I can't wait to see spider-man homecoming which is coming out in 2017 and I'm really really curious about this animated spider-man film that's gonna be produced by Sony um, and it's going to be opening up their its own little cinematic universe that is completely disconnected from the Marvel Cinematic Universe so um, it's going to be really interesting to see where they're going to go with that so anyways a lot of exciting stuff I'm excited about Spider-Man I'm also excited about what's going to be teased at uh, San Diego Comic-Con at Hall H I'm pretty sure it's going to end up on YouTube leaked uh, <laughs> but uh, the next thing I'm of course excited about is the release of Captain America Civil War on Blu-ray I'm pumped for that September 17 uh, September 13 is the release date so um stay tuned anyways that's all i gotta say in this video we got more updates for you guys for the marvel edition uh i want to actually uh, follow up on talking about uh fox and their cinematic universe their marvel cinematic universe so uh we will talk about that in the next episode so anyways that's all i gotta say in this video as always if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more hit the like button subscribe to the youtube channel like me on facebook the rage nation also follow me on twitter rage nation my name is alex you thanks for watching i'll see you next time peace <laughs> Woo, ran out of breath Independence Day, uh, I've seen it in, um, you know, a lot of films. And Roland Emmerich, he's responsible for a lot of, um, I guess, disaster films.